Hi, it's Ian with MJ Gable. Wanted to chat with you quickly today about the difference between diamond simulant alternatives and lab-grown diamonds. Um, there are companies, you know, out there that sell what they call diamond uh, simulant alternatives, um, something like a diamond nexus, for example. Um, these are different than lab-grown diamonds, and you know, because there's a lot of different technology out there, I just wanted to take a pause for a second and kind of explain the difference because there is a difference. Um, so while a diamond simulant or a diamond simulant alternative is grown in a lab, similarly to a lab grown diamond, they are different. So they are not the same thing. Um, if you're searching for a lab grown diamond, you want to be sure that it is a lab grown diamond not a lab-grown diamond simulant or a lab-grown diamond alternative. Um, what those are, are literally what the name implies, simulants and alternatives to a diamond. What that would be would be something like a CZ or a moissanite, which is what you're probably most familiar with. Um, companies like Diamond Nexus do have a proprietary um, you know, blend or a composition that they use to make their diamond simulant alternatives. Um, but again, these are not lab-grown diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds are chemically pure diamonds. So again, we grow them in a lab. We mimic the same conditions uh, in which the earth grows a diamond. And voila, we have a lab-grown diamond. Um, so I know the terms sound very similar, but it's important when you're doing your shopping that you understand the difference and are purchasing what you actually are intending to purchase. Um, diamond simulants and diamond simulant alternatives will not test diamond because they're not diamond. They are not going to reflect, refract light the same way. Um, they won't have the same brilliance. They probably won't be as white. Um, you know, what makes diamonds you know, bright white and, you know, what makes lab-grown diamonds bright white is how chemically pure they are um, and their lack of impurities. Um, you're not going to get that same look with a uh, simulant or an alternative. So I just wanted to be clear, um, you know, the other thing about simulants and alternatives is, um, you know, their manufacturing process isn't necessarily as clear as, you know, lab-grown diamonds. We know the different processes in which lab-grown diamonds are made, um, HPHT and CVD, obviously, as we've discussed in other videos. Um, for example, our manufacturer of lab-grown diamonds, uh, the manufacturer that we use, is located here in the United States. Um, they, you know, are a source that is sustainable, um, you know, so it's uh, something that is easily, um, you know, tracked and viewed about how they're making the diamonds. Um, you know, and what impact on the environment, uh, you know, that process has. So um, any questions, please feel free to always reach out. Um, you know, if you're in the market for a lab-grown diamond, I'm certainly happy to help, um, or, you know, lab-grown diamond jewelry. Um, and, you know, as always, anything that comes up, feel free to reach out. Um, contact information is below. Um, you certainly can find me on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Um, on Instagram, I'm AG Fine Jewelry. Uh, and Instagram, it's at MJ Gable. Um, any questions, like I said, let me know. Have a great day.